Good morning. Um, this is a video that I don't know how in the world I can explain this. I pray, Lord, that you help me with this. Help me with the way I say it. But it's just something that I don't know if the word is eating me. I don't, uh, eating my heart, eating at me when I see. <sighs> I don't know, Lord. But I'm just going to. This is the book of Deuteronomy, and I'm sorry that I don't have a, you know, professional setup here. This is just how I have it. This is how I'm able to do it. So forgive me if this is not done professionally, you know, but whatever. You'll be able to at least see the, the words. This is in Deuteronomy, I'm sorry, 18. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. So, I... I'm seeing in a lot in a place where I go to help where it is a Christian organization let's just put it that way and I'll leave it at that but anyway and as I'm there I've been there for years now and um, I see so many things that Christians practice and that they do and I mind you I understand that we all have different um, some people are in different parts of their walk with the Lord some people don't know and then some people do know and some people just don't care but I'm just saying like they just want to keep doing what they want to do but I don't understand why in Christ in Christianity and what in American Christianity, let's say that like Western Christians, why all the stuff is um, so accepted. So I'm just going to read Deuteronomy 18 because the word of God doesn't change. So, and this is NLT. When you enter the land, this is what the Lord told the people before they were about to get the promised land, before they were about to be blessed with all these things. This is what he told them. He warned them not to do. When you enter the land, the Lord your God is giving you. Be very careful not to imitate the detestable customs. And King James calls that an abomination. Okay. Detestable customs of the nation living there. For example, never sacrifice your son or daughter as a burnt offering. Let me press this so you can see the. That means never make your son or daughter pass through the fire. All right. Do not let your people practice fortune telling or use sorcery or interpret omens or engage in witchcraft or cast spells or function as mediums or psychics or call forth the spirits of the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. It is because the other nations have done these detestable things that the Lord your God will drive them out ahead of you. But you, talking to the people of the Lord, you must be blameless before the Lord your God. The nations you are about to displace consults what? Sorcerers and fortune tellers. But the Lord your God forbids you to do such things. All right. And then I'm going to read this in the New King James right quick. Just so. Alright. Here we go again. This title says, Avoid Wicked Customs. That's even more appropriate. When you come into the land which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of those nations. Okay? There shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire. This is what is now known as abortion nowadays. Or one who practices witchcraft or a soothsayer or one who interprets omens or a sorcerer or one who conjures spells or a medium or a spiritist or one who calls up the dead. Hmm. Sounds like just anyway. For all who does these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God drives them out from before you. You shall be blameless before the Lord your God. For these nations which you will dispossess, listened to soothsayers and diviners or diviners, however you want to say it. But as for you, the Lord your God has not appointed 
such for you. So my question is this. When you find out what these practices are, that part is abortion. Let me see if I can use my pen. Make his son or daughter. Whenever you give up your children to the fire, or nowadays it's abortion, or one who practices witchcraft, this has a lot to do with sat sat satanic practices, um, occult practices, uh, soothsayers, some people that interpret omens, a sorcerer, that's a wizard, witches, warlocks, people that conjure up spells, people that are in, um, what is it, santeria, all kinds of demonic um, practices. A medium, somebody telling you what's going to happen, a spiritist, someone who calls up the dead. You're not supposed to be talking to people that are your family members that are dead. If you're talking to a family member that's dead, I can assure you it is not of the, it's not a God. They're not your spirit guides. They're not your helper. The Lord says it is a detestable thing. It says it's an abomination. That means if anything that is in your television, anything you're singing, anything that you're watching on TV, if it's practicing or talking or glorifying or making it as if it's okay, any of these things, you shouldn't be doing it. You shouldn't be watching it. And this is where I come with people with crystals, people trying to conjure up spells or spiritists who call, people who are using sage, which is part of spiritual practices, new age spiritual practices. And people in the church are talking about horoscopes, like in Spanish churches, some people do the mal de ojo, which is called the evil eye, um, all kinds of stuff. You can't mix the holy with the profane. You, it, it tells us right here. Let me, let me highlight this right here so y'all can see it. What does it say here? It says here, when you come into the land which the Lord your God has given you, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of those nations. I wasn't even fit to do this, but let me see if I can find the book. There's a book that I had started reading. I'm not done reading it on e on YouTube. This one is called He Came to Set the Captives Free. Look at this picture. This is a powerful picture. And it's kind of scary for people that have, don't know about this stuff. And I don't want to know about this stuff. But it happens. Just because we don't want to know about it doesn't mean it does not occur. This woman, her name is Dr. Rebecca Brown. She was studying to be a doctor. She was a Christian. She loved the Lord. And the Lord called her into uh, freeing a lot of people that were in witchcraft. And um, it was terrible. People that were basically Satanists. And this book talks a lot about her journey with a lot of stuff that happened. How the Lord showed her through certain things and her willingness to do whatever he said for her to do and things that people don't talk about in church this woman talks about she was a person that definitely delivered people in ministry set people free in the name of jesus and cast out demons and one of the things i want to say is people are bound bound in depression bound in a whole bunch of things because they are allowing Practices that are witchcraft, sorcerers, sorcery. I'm like, I'm gonna go back to the NLT just so y'all can see this. Okay, I'm gonna put this back up here. A call to holy living. All right, for example, again, not to sacrifice your son or daughter as a burnt offering. You know, I've always seen that as a um, thing to abortion, and I do believe that's what it is because back in the day. Uh, the pagans would, um, they would be practicing, sacrificing their babies for um, supposedly to receive a certain kind of, um, how do I say, favor or things like that. And they would sacrifice their babies. Some of them would literally kill them. Some would throw them in, in the oven. Some people would throw them off different places and different cultures would do different things. But they were still following a demonic spirit, Okay. But now I also see this when you let your kids just sit there and watch whatever they want to watch on television, whatever movies that are rolling out, everything that does not please God. There's so many things that the church just lets their kids do and it don't it's not 
what the Bible says. It do not do not let your people practice fortune telling or use of sorcery or interpret or omens or engage in witchcraft or cast spell. Let me highlight that. Give me give me a minute. Or cast spells or function as mediums or psychics or call for spirits of the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. It is because of the other nations that have done these detestable things that the Lord your God will drive them out of hell. What do Christians think when they let when um you're practicing crystals, trying to uh use vibrations, um trying to uh get a, a what is that called essence or uh all of the stuff that people practice in the new age, sage using sage to cleanse the room. Only uh, only reason why you should have sage in your house is to cook with it. Not to be doing no demonic rituals. The problem is since it's not being shown as a demonic ritual, you don't see it as a part of a satanic ritual. You don't, you, you think it's harmless. Oh no, we're cleaning out the air. No, that's demonic. If you're teaching your kids about the signs and the horoscopes, that's demonic. He's telling us don't practice those things. What is fortune telling? People telling people's futures. He says, don't do that. We're not supposed to be looking at horoscopes and teaching our kids about being Pisces and who's compatible. And you know who knows who's compatible with who? The Holy Ghost. So you need to know the Holy Ghost. You need to know the Holy Spirit to know who you're going to be, who's going to be the person you need to marry. But see, nobody want to talk about that. Nobody want to talk about that. Listen, people are practicing these things. And they are going to church. Please do not get me started with the Halloween. Halloween, I would I will highly suggest any Christian who continues to practice to have any part, don't have any parts with it. That means trunk or treat, no harvest day instead of replacement of Halloween. No, if you want to have a church service, just have a church service. Invite kids to watch a movie and just preach the gospel. You don't gotta do all this foolishness. <laughs> Why am I saying that? Because people that were in the occult, people that were ex-witches, ex-warlocks, ex-anything that has to do with something satanic, they will tell you there is a very well-known ex-satanist that is has books. His name is John Ramirez. He got plenty of videos on YouTube. I welcome you guys to go look him up. John Ramirez and it's ex-satanist. He will tell you that the, um, what is his name, um, Antoine Levain or something, the dude that created the Church of Satan, he says, I thank all the Christians, I'm paraphrasing this, but he thanks all the Christians for allowing their children to participate in Halloween because they're doing something demonic and they don't even know it. Most of them don't even think it is, but he's telling you it is. And as John Ramirez says, no... Uh, um, witch lock, wit, a warlock, excuse me, a warlock or a witch or Satanist or all these other people that practice this kind of stuff, they don't come to Easter service, you know, to celebrate um, Resurrection Sunday. Okay, because really it's not even Easter. It's supposed to be the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't come on that day for that. I mean, if they do, it's because they're trying to, most time it's because they're trying to infiltrate. And that's another thing this book talks about. And many others. I'm sure there's many others. That people, she came to set the cap. He came to set the captives free. How um, these people who practices um, these um, occulted satanic practices, they deliberately go into churches to break down the church. Okay, so they do do that. But his point is, you don't see them coming to celebrate Resurrection Sunday. You know what I'm saying? They're not, they're not coming for that. So why would people of, you know, people that are followers of Christ, why would you have anything to do with this demonic practice? It don't make sense. Um, I just saw a testimony of a young lady who said she was doing new age. She was, she was messing with crystals. She had spirit guides and you can see with her quick testimony, she was just talking about how I guess the Lord was showing her slowly, but she was being shown 
how those spirit guides were demonic. And at the end, when she when the, when she finally saw, because she was seeking the Lord, she kept asking, Lord, show me. I, I need to know. I don't know. Because she didn't even know. You know, she was just asking God, please, if this is real, you know, show me, show me. And after a year of praying and praying, it, sh it was like shown to her that that stuff that she was doing was demonic. And that she was able to see who her spirit guides were. In reality, she said the Lord showed her the verse, uh, Satan comes in as a uh, an angel of light. And when that happened, she said she saw those demons. She saw those spirit guides as demons and they were laughing and taunting at her. So that's what I'm saying. When I pray that people will come to read the Bible and get convicted about the stuff they're watching. And I'm talking about Christians. I'm not I'm not just talking about people in the world. I'm talking about people that say they're living for the Lord. You're doing Bible studies, you're going to church, but you're still but you're still practicing fortune telling or sorcery. How are you doing it? When you watch and buy books like Harry Potter or anything that has anything to do with sorcery, witchcraft, don't get me started with Disney. Disney's full of it. And that's another little pet sin that a lot of Christians have in the church. Disney, you need to go and see the videos of people exposing Disney and all the demonic stuff they have in their videos. I've watched them. I used to have them a long time ago. When I started to watch a series called The Truth Behind Hip Hop by Brother G. Craig Lewis. And I saw it wasn't just about Disney. He was talking in general about the music, the hip hop culture, the, mu the the lyrics of the music and how this. And it's true when when you see this stuff, it's like, oh, my goodness. When you pay attention to the lyrics of songs, people are singing songs they don't even know that are basically de dedicated to the devil. But no, nobody wants to see that. Nobody in church want to hear that. Nobody want to be told that their favorite, you know, artist or whatever that they're listening to is not godly and it don't make sense because once you come to christ you just gotta leave all that behind none of that stuff matters leave it alone but it don't make any sense to me i don't understand how anybody can say they're a christian and they're messing with crystals anybody says they're christian and they're watching all listen to me all of the things that you're watching through your cell phone especially because now this dang thing is a trap all the things that is flooding through your cell phone, flooding through your television, flooding through your iPads, flooding through every, all the stuff on the internet. You need to ask the Holy Spirit, be like, should I be watching this? Should I be watching shows that are making a mockery of the Lord? Should I be watching shows that are, uh, what's the word? Um, that they're always saying um, sexual windows. Should I be watching stuff that, is not glorifying to God. How is the TV shows and programs, pay attention, they're called programs. How are these things helping you get to go closer to God? How is watching Disney with half, listen, watch the, the princess and the frog. See all that crazy voodoo stuff that's in there. I've never watched the show, uh, that video, what's it called? In, 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 I can't even remember. It was like based on Spanish um, characters, Encantada or something, in ch something. I can't remember. I saw the trailer to that. I didn't have to watch the whole movie to see it was demonic. I already saw the trailer and I already saw all the spirit stuff that was in it. And I'm like, why are people that are going to church watching this? You are inviting demonic spirits to come to your home and mess with your kids. Because you're opening that door spiritually. Whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is that's what the, that is what the enemy is using to come into your house. Anyway, I'll let y'all go. Peace.